Oh yes, welcome guys to this new Reav um, Reaper Revolver. Reaper, Reaper. This is a new. Um, this is a review of my recent acquisition. Okay, acquire. Uh, I recently bought a license for Reaper Five. I got updated to our Reaper Five because um, something's really attract me to Reaper Five. The latest version. I, uh, usually, you, sh you know me. I use the Reaper uh, Four Point Seventy Five. And now I moved to Reaper Five, and I'm really legally, le le legitly, let's say legitly, right? Legit, be legit, and buy both license for Reaper Five. Point forty and so on to the Reaper Six. That is not coming yet. <laughs> the Reaper Five Point Forty is the, the latest version. Something is uh, really attracting me to the Reaper Five. Why I move to that? Why I bought a license to that? Because uh, the video editing and the video effect processor in it, and this really kick ass. My question is, does Reaper will kick the ass of Sony Vegas Pro? Not yet. Sony Vegas Pro got a lot of stuff like more than video editing, just like one example. What's that? <laughs> okay, this reflection or something like um, video 3D video composing, uh, defocus effect, but uh, you know, everything is going fine. So, uh, above a license, folks, uh, you know, this it's 60 personal license, it's really low price for Reaper, um, it's uh, around $60 US, that means $78 Canadian dollar for me. And by the way, the video watching just right now are talking to you with the chroma key of this picture under the, um, you know, the, the, the Reaper <laughs> interface on it. It's completely made and video edited and render it, video it render it in Reaper 5.40. And this really kick ass, and this is an example. I would show you the, the, the editing shot at the end of the editing this video. So, here I got um, kind of part of um, a video like this uh, put a new track, and then uh, do insert or use the, um, vim, you know, the uh, video, um <coughs> the media browser. I chose an example, maybe me and Sebastian jamming or some song. So you cannot hear the audio because I not capture the audio, so just focus on the video. Uh, interesting new feature, normally I use, uh, you know me, I use the team default, default 3.0, but the default team, graphic team of Reaper 5 is like this, not so bad. Looks like the classic form, um, a little bit good slider, but you know me, <laughs> I prefer the team the default 3.0 because I love this. <laughs> I'm used to this, you yeah? know. So this is an example. Uh, the videos playback goes really well, uh, as well as the sound, as well as the jogging. Okay, you, to see a video, when you put a video file on the, to the project, it's, uh, it appears as the, the audio clip of the video. So who need a video clip, a video track with thumbnails, just like in Sony Vegas? You see, this is the video track. This is the video event. You see that from the audio clip. So this is really simple. And to show the video, you go to uh, so uh, view and and choose a video window or shift control shift V or command shift V on on the Mac. And you can see the video playback as well, playing with the, the tempo and accelerating, just like that, really fast. And it takes 10.7% of CPU just to to play back the video. Use a, oh yeah, of course, it, it uses a codec, a codec pack that is that is coming, not coming with an install of Reaper. So what uh, so you have to do is you go to uh, build to the website FFmpeg. I use, it use a FF MPEG um, codec pack to playback and to encode same well. So you go to ffmpeg.zirano.com slash build and you choose the version of Reaper. The recently I uh, downloaded the 3.2 version architecture. I used a 32-bit, yeah. I still use a 32-bit version of Reaper 
and click the link uh, use the linking share it pack so this is um, a zip file including all, including all the codec the DLL file so you copy and pass all this DLL executable all stuff this file into the uh, Re Reaper program folder and then you open that you got the, the codec to encode and to decode in the same time so download the FFmpeg like that how this present how this present how this case this show <laughs> you know what so um, I go to install file Reaper file so the the, the pack is uh, appeared this is like that FFmpeg win32 you go to bin folder and you copy all this this file into the main Reaper uh, program file so that's a program x86 for the 32-bit version or to a program 5 uh, for the 64-bit version yeah to answer the question so some people why use the 32-bit version of, of Reaper first bridging I use a lot the 32-bit DLL plugin 5 VST, VST plugin and uh, a lot don't like the bridging the bridge shit happen when you open the 32 bit and uh, secondly you know I use the wave bundle uh, plugin DX plugin uh, all this plugin is 32 bit that does not support in Reaper 64 bit Reaper 64 bit don't see this plugin only 32 bit so go for the fuck go the fuck with the 64 Reaper and uh, stay glued to 32 bit okay so once you get uh, this codec is installed you can now do uh, render using the uh, the the ff video ffmpeg encoder and choose a lot of format just like web bm and don't use this this what flash video uh mkv uh i don't i really like the quicktime mp4 format uh, use the h264 standard aac audio i recommend to put the zero percent to keep the lowest five pos lowest file away possible with a really good keeping the good high quality in the HD video you can also choose um, get the w width and the height of frame for the current video and then everything's going fine and it really 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 if I do um, go to the desktop I do a test I render this it's render really normally render really fast because um, because I do um, video capture at the same time <laughs> you know this this is the fact so normally I, because I do a video capture of the screen uh, the, the rendering is it take a lot of CPU use in the same time but this is really cool and there's something is really cool you can also split the video and cut just do split editing like that you can you cannot do crossfade but here comes the, the fact uh, there's a only a video processor plugin from Reaper there you can do all the stuff so I want to do a fading so it's got a lot of got a lot of preset to do all the stuff including yeah of course simple chroma key where's the chroma key uh, pixel level chroma simple source chroma key I can do a chroma key really nice chroma key using some knob setting to uh, adjust the color of chroma key and you do really a good chroma key really fine so if, if put this video under um for example an old part of this video um, put under the other track on, on behind under and then the, this this zero <laughs> okay weird weird stuff but this is cool okay well, i want to do some uh there's a track zoom upon pan effect of course uh, i want to do a cross effect okay i'll just go chroma key vignette v major delay cheap um crossfade through input so by using that you can also copy and pass more instance do more complex multi effect combined multi effect as well so so do you do so, so I do have do a cross effect on it okay we're gonna do this this it is cross effect will work not yet okay this is not no this is for the fading fade out okay so um, I can do the fade just like that and, and this supposed to fade out and then this is not okay no program i want to do uh opacity fade effect video it's supposed to work and it fade right so i do a cross effect 
yeah, you do the cross effect, it's really subtle because it's the same video, you know. So, um, pretty nice. Chroma key, uh, pixelate for censoring and stuff. And uh, of course, uh, you kind of saw the exposition of the blur and the uh, white position of the blur. Okay, one by one. Track opacity, zoom and pan. That's really cool. Something that Vegas can do. But the Vegas gets something more. It can rotate rotate the, the, the video at the same time. So I can ch change the opa opacity that makes with the video under. Uh, do the zoom. Get nice zooming. You can apply a filter on it if you want more better quality zooming. X offset, Y offset, you can also reduce. So you can do multi video on one picture just like in Vegas, but really, when you do the playback, I, I, I did a test, okay? I did a test with the main video, with another picture, another picture, and another picture with the chroma key, and no slowdown, full quality, put that in sc full screen, and playback, and no slowdown. Everything's going really kick ass, fast. And that's really impressive compared to um, some Vegas performance. So I can use the uh, the X offset and something, you know, this is a plugin and something you can, you cannot do in Vegas with this plugin. So you can link a knob, you do parameter, learn and choose a knob on your MIDI, just like my Oxygen 49, and link to the MIDI controller and can control that via my MIDI controller with the X offset. So I'd use the knob C10 of my Oxygen 49 and you can create an automated en envelope manually using this knob to turn this this and that's cool <laughs> so right, uh, let's remove this one so uh, filter play the background i uh, yeah, put the clear background um, if i want to see the other video on the other track under just like that that's cool uh force with force eight for the um, yeah Precise aspect. Okay, this is I wanna wanna waste my time with a track opacity pan, item fade effect video, the interlace for interlaced video. Cool. Two by two input input matrix. Okay, what is this? Mm, okay, two by two input matrix. Uh, horizontal. I don't know what's. Okay, that's okay. And something is really cool. The fact that. Um, this plugin got an open source script programming language, so you can see all the code, you can modify the code, modify the code, mod the code, and all this stuff, and this is really cool. So people can create new script for new effect in the community, Reaper coding community, community. this, maybe this Reaper get this way to kick the ass of Sony Vegas and high pri price professional video editing. Title text overlay, you can add some text. So I can do, uh, I can, I can k type on the directly the text on the um, the text overlay code and say Bejile and Mo. And it control S to modify the code. And you can see the title at that, you can Mero, I say I call it Mero, Mo. Mo, C T L S, say that. So you can uh, change the uh, background of my height, uh, background at alpha, background alpha there, border, increase the border. It's really, really nice. Slow motion, so strike bird frame. This is an interesting effect. Okay, a little bit different. <laughs> I don't know this is really the result is um, this kind of robot, you know, neon effect, pe pe pixel and on over it. See, it's, uh, simple source chroma key. I really love this chroma key. Really cr this chroma key works fine. Um, put that under. Okay, let's put a picture maybe, something. Uh, okay, let's put a picture on it. So. Okay, where's the... Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's put a picture under. And sir, uh, another video, for example. Mm, uh, okay, this, this vlog. And you can see the perfect chroma key. If I put that full screen, the chroma key. Okay, we can adjust a little bit with uh, the knob. 
put the camera key so put the key for build the CTRL to be more precise and then the chroma key work even more easier and faster than Sony Vegas Pro and really fastest no slowdown maybe slow down because of the, the video capture of the screen so this is cool chroma key uh, maybe I will use uh, Sony Vegas, uh, not for Reaper for future vlog. You did my video for future vlog. Slow motion, pixelate, vignette. Yeah, I kind of get a vignette effect, of course, on it. Uh, image overlay. So see, this, is, this, is, this is pretty practice uh, when you put uh, some um, image on your. For example, you use a PNG file with transparency, especially for do the title. A custom title in Photoshop and then you could put that on the picture just like a pro titler so who needs Sony Vegas for the titler anyway <laughs> uh, YUV multiplier this it's at saturation and very interesting YUV saturation alpha so maybe don't use that anymore cheap brightness contrast really essential cool stuff G60 panner so this call this one is a cool effect <laughs> um okay wait a minute bitter feedback okay cool rotation effect and bitter feedback and zoom oh cool swirling effect interesting and the uh, the user preset like that i downloaded it on a uh, video from a subscription for a user on, on youtube is called um, um reaper reaper blog Reaper vlog and he, do, he did this on um, preset you can copy and paste and download on the so just follow him he will explain more than me <laughs> so so solid color generator GS solid color essential video control more advanced control more advanced in text overlay that you can change the, the the color of the text this time uh, essential border mm, cool you can can add some border and change the color of the border and oh, that's cool nice border it ruined red that's cool so this is really cool when you uh, add some more um another video processor and then you can add some track capacity zoom pad and do a zoom so you get a nice border around so that, that that's a uh, clear background i want to turn off the tail here background yeah just like that so we got a nice red border like that a little bit slow down because uh, i do video capture in the same time <laughs> this is uh, a lot of cpu use so this is what reaper is cool right now the other thing that's really cool so, yeah, so if i do a new i don't i don't want to do, do that i want to do an empty item just like a media item uh okay you get uh, natural piano roll annotation drum and even and of course classical music annotation oh yeah this is cool but <laughs> i get bored with this guy this time this old stuff yeah so and i'll talk on a lot of new effect is added um about um okay um Krakos spectrograph oscilloscope general dy dynamic gain reduction scope frequency re recent oh yeah, yeah. Super 8 MIDI controller, synchronous looper, Crocus. Okay, I don't know what's it. I will. It's up to me to discover this one. So um, this is what Reaper 5. I really love Reaper 5.40. Uh, I hope this one will kick ass of a big video software like Sony Vegas, uh, Adobe Premiere, um, Final Cut, um, Adobe After Effects, and all this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video is edited with Reaper 5. I'm gonna put. Right now, you can see uh, the the, um, the edit of in Reaper for this video vlog. So thanks for watching. See you next time.